Hey there everyone, welcome to another radio related video. Uh, today I was thinking about uh, talking a little bit of these little walkie talkies that are very popular. Uh, they are uh, called um, FRS or GMRS depending on the version you are uh, buying. And FRS means the uh, family radio service. And uh, what these radios are actually are the basically UHF cham frequency walkie talkies. Uh, depending on the version that you will buy, a FRS can have 14 channels or it can have 22 channels. This first one here, this is your basic FRS little walkie-talkie. This is a Bell South model. This is the 14 channel basic version and the basic version will have about 500 milliwatts output at the antenna. And you've got those that are more of they're what were called GMRS. They are FRS but with 22 channels instead of the basic um, 14. And so what's the difference? Well GMRS tend to have higher power in their transmission. Now when you buy these you will notice that on the package it is often rated in kilometers. So for example you'll have packages with uh, that states like 20 kilometers, uh, 32 kilometers, 48 kilometers, um, I think I've seen even one that had like 60 kilometers or 54 kilometers written on it. Now keep in mind that that rating in kilometers is really really bogus and means absolutely nothing. Um, basically most of the time a 48 kilometer version uh, versus a 32 kilometer version will typically have a little bit more power in the antenna but I've tested a lot of those and actually before buying the ones I have here uh, I tried seven or eight different models and actually uh, the higher kilometer reading did not mean it was better and actually I've even had a 48 kilometer reading that was actually worse than a 20 kilometer reading 20 something kilometers like 24 kilometers so don't take the kilometers for cash because uh, come on you don't make 25 kilometers or 30 kilometers with these little radios you know I don't know how they test those but probably they test it in an environment like you know no trees a perfect land maybe over a lake or something um, and also they probably test it with the tone because these little radios have little tones and beeps that you can do and what happens is that these radios uh, probably on the tone yes you probably will make the 48 kilometers on its own but you know doesn't serve any purpose because having just a town is useless you want to talk to someone and to talk with someone well that's the basic idea here is that you don't do the rating that's on the package and everything changes a lot I mean one of the first thing that you, you need to know here is that the rating can be uh, 50 kilometers but if you're in the woods for example and there's a lot of trees or you're in a city all the buildings if you make a few kilometers man you're, you're, you're pretty good and I wouldn't expect to do any more than uh, I would say in a city maybe a five kilometer range uh, nothing really more than that in open land, if you're on a lake, you know, or you're in really open land, a grass plain or something, uh, probably you'll do like 10 or 15. But you'll never do what it says on the package. That is completely bogus and I think uh, they, sh they should actually change the law to prevent this type of advertisement. I think it's not really fair. The features are mostly what you want to look at. Look at what's in your price range. And instead of looking at kilometers, look at the power output. 
Uh, typically you'll have um, 500 milliwatts, 1 watt, 2 watts, 5 watts version. Uh, for example, these two are 5 watt versions. This one's another 5 watt version. This is a small 500 milli uh, milliwatt version. So, and keep in mind that on channels 7 to 14, all of those are only 500 milliwatts because 7 to 14 are only for low power usage. Uh, the features that you might want to have on those is the, the features uh, like this one for example has the weather channels. So if uh, you use those to uh, go camping or to go somewhere uh, where you might be in the weather, I think having the weather channel uh, uh, like the NOAA frequencies is quite a nice feature and this one the Cobra uh, Microtalk is really cool for that and um, it's actually this is a um, 30 I think it was a 32 kilometer version if I'm not mistaken and uh, this one actually performs as well as these that are uh, rated at 48 kilometers so uh, to give you an idea I don't see a difference between this one and this one in the range so 32 and basically they're about 5 watts so the only output change you can do is maybe do a better antenna but uh, you know don't there's not that much you can do especially with such short ant antennas and also you hold it in your hand it changes all the pattern of the waves um, these transmit in the UF, UHF range uh, typically in the upper 460 megahertz range and uh, are great little companions for camping for all sorts of outdoor activities um, I do lots of uh, scientific activities outdoors uh, like um, sending these uh, model rockets and stuff like that uh, it's really fun you bring these radios along and you can actually communicate with everybody so it's really cool now in some countries you need a license to oper operate these uh, here in Canada no license is required you just go out and buy one pair uh, I believe in the United States you need a license to operate those so be warned that when you need a license for operation of a radio uh, walkie-talkies uh, please do and get that license it often doesn't cost that much and actually you'll know that everything you do is pretty much legal so there's 14 channels 22 channels all in the UHF uh, what you'll need to look at is basically the power output more than a kilometers kilometers doesn't mean nothing and uh, like I said having a uh, weather channel you know having one that can receive the weather channel I think is cool feature especially if you're out camping uh, you know in the summer uh, heavy thunderstorms and tornadoes are uh, a possibility so I think it's a cool feature that you can actually receive the NOAA frequencies for the weather typically you'll uh, get those starting at about ten dollars a pair for this one for example that's what I paid $9.99 uh, and depending on the range and on the possibilities and uh, of the radio and what it can do and while well, you'll actually have um, 30 40 50 typically uh, up to hundred dollars a pair so uh, but uh, I would say over 50 bucks doesn't really mean that if you pay more you'll have more range you'll basically have more features most of the time uh, one key feature to be careful on these radios is what they call uh, the privacy codes please don't take those codes as being private meaning that you are the only one that can hear the conversation that's not at all what it means uh, you know they, they use a lot of the uh, the words and try to push a meaning to that word that is not really what it is and they call it privacy codes. Uh, it's not privacy at all. It's uh, these radios typically will send out these little tones, uh, which are control tones. So when you actually put a channel, 
you can see here it says 17 is the main channel the 00, zero right next to it is the code if you match 17 and you put I don't know a zero 01 it means that to talk to someone else his tone needs to be set to zero 01 and if someone else talks on the same channel but doesn't have the same tone set then you don't hear that person so this is what is cool about the tones is that on some channels where there are multiple users you can actually filter out the ones you don't want to hear by putting the same tone on your pair of walkie talkie that is different from the tones of someone else but the problem is that because you don't hear them doesn't mean they don't hear you because if you're set at zero here for example I'm at zero zero I hear everyone whatever tone you're using I will hear it it's just that to talk to you I need to set the good tone that's the only thing so there's no privacy and no security here don't use that thinking that what you're saying nobody can hear and that it's really private there's no encryption at all in these things so be careful and be warned um, I wish really really that they would actually change the way everything is uh, explained and written on the packages so lots and lots and lots of companies make these little radios so uh, I personally enjoy and really really like the Cobras I think they're a good quality but you know if it's a Motor Motorola, I've seen Motorola, uh, they seem to be quite good also. But you know, be uh, don't don't be uh, you know whatever is the company that makes your radios. Uh, I, I don't think it matters that much uh, if it's in your price range and it looks it has the features that 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 you want and it looks cute for you and everything looks nice well you know just buy them it's a great way to uh, also bring your children up to uh, radio and electronics and you know give them that little radio uh, cool radio thing they'll be transmitting with their walkie talkies that's basically how I started I had my first pair of walkie talkies when I was young which weren't at all these these are much higher quality than what we had when I was young. When I was young, it was basically a Channel 14 walkie-talkie on the CB. And uh, if I could talk uh, 100 meters, it was almost a miracle. These actually perform so much better than the old ones. And so uh, I think it's a great way to uh, you know, introduce radio and electronics to uh, your children. And they might get, you know curious enough that they want to actually learn more and I think it's a great way to show them um, be courteous on the air be nice don't jam anyone these are the basic features you know there are some stupid people out there that actually just do that uh, and uh, before you talk listen make sure you're not using someone else's channel you know, all the basic little rules that will make your hobby with these little walkie talkies much, much fun. So, uh, this was this little introduction on GMRS and FRS radios, and I uh, hope it gave you a little idea of maybe buying a pair and uh, enjoying yourself uh, with uh, these uh, little radios there, little walkie talkies. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, well, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. And of course, if you have any comments or questions uh, related to these little radios, or uh, maybe you want to know what I think about the different models, or you know, just ask. Uh, no, no problem. It's always fun to have feedback, and uh, I'll be happy to answer questions that you might have on this topic or any other radio-related topic. So thanks for watching 73's